What's going on YouTube? I'm The Vandalist and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Road Shower 4S on your Volkswagen Vanagon. Stay tuned. I went with the road shower simply because with the other things that are available, whether that be a do-it-yourself PVC pipe solar shower or traditional hang from the tree water bag solar shower, to me this was the best option being that it offers six minutes of shower time and it has the ability to have a pressurized spray hose meaning that I can clean off any gear that I have or spray off any kayaks or bicycles. And these things made this the best possible option for something that was going to fulfill all of the needs I had as a camper and as a vandalist. All right, so here we have the hardware kit. Um, this is basically what is going to mount your road shower to your rack. Um, you're only actually gonna use four of these bolts because they give you different sizes depending on what rack you're using, making this install essentially like pretty universal for most racks. Um, so this is not really pertaining to only Vanagons. This across the board will pretty much be the similar procedure for everything. Um, here are the instructions. Basically you can crumble these up and toss them because that's why I'm here. And then here we have the HyperTuff digital inflator. So your tank needs a way to pressurize in order to get the PSI to basically pressurize the water. Um, this is what I went with. This is a $13 option from Walmart. It's uh, very cheap and inexpensive and it should do the trick just fine. So now basically you just need to grab a friend or someone to help you lift this up here. It's really not that heavy, but I mean, I'm tall so I was able to get up here by myself. Um, so basically find the hardware that best fits the rack that you are using. Um, for me, it was the next two biggest size. And then basically it works in that they are these squared off bolts that you slide up through the middle. And you take them over where you're wanting them to go. And then basically you take these clamps, you know, and you, you bolt them and wrench them down. And now we're going to do a hyperlapse of that because that's super boring.